can't fit. <laughs> and I would just like just sitting here all day long. Bloggy flips. All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Anthony. So I'm getting ready to go do a Facebook Marketplace pickup. It's not like one of my normal pickups, but it's pretty interesting, I think. I guess the backstory is uh, for years now, my wife and I have uh, kind of wrestled with the idea of the possibility of maybe someday opening some sort of uh, brick and mortar collectible store. And some people might think that's crazy. I mean, retail is a whole different beast. I've personally worked in retail before, so I know that it's it's not an easy thing. However, it's fun to have kind of these passion project uh, dreams and goals. But one thing I do have, which I just made a video there, is an antique booth. Uh, you know, in like a vendor mall type place. And up until recently, I've kind of used that space as as just kind of like unloading overflow and junk and stuff. And there's no real theme. It's just it's just total like junk shop vibe. So I'm all about proof of concept. So I thought, what if I just kind of go in there and uh, make it into a space where people know that they can come and get interesting like vintage collectibles or toys or comic books or cards like all that cool nostalgic stuff that i love to buy kind of transform it into a space like that and then over the next several months see how it does see see if this local area of ours uh can can support a space like that and then kind of go go from there i guess just kind of see if this little dream of ours is even a possibility. So I went to Home Depot, I got some stuff like pegboard and everything to to kind of uh, make some transformations. We've spent some time in the last few days like cleaning and pricing uh, inventory, even like, even like uh, packaging and just getting like a bunch of stuff ready. And then as all this was happening, this really interesting Facebook Marketplace post popped up for a uh, what I think would be a really cool display piece kind of, kind of like a centerpiece for the booth itself something that if we ever did move into our own little store uh, could could kind of live a life there too it's really cool hopefully it's as cool in person as it was in the photo but anyway I reached out to the guy I'm, I'm gonna go pick it up now you'll see what I'm talking about soon so let's go pick that up now then we'll head to the antique booth uh, I'll kind of show you where it's at now then I'll begin the transformation and uh, we'll see where we are by the end of the day. But first, I wanna take just a minute to thank Current for sponsoring today's video. Current is the future of banking entirely on your phone with a mobile app and a debit card. The last time Current sponsored one of my videos, they gave away $1,000 to my viewers. According to some comments I received, the giveaway was such a success, Current decided to do it again. If you download and sign up for Current using my promo code FROGGYFLIPS, you could possibly be one of four random people to receive $250 loaded directly onto their account. Once you download the app using my link and my promo code FROGGYFLIPS, you can do things like sign up for direct deposit and set up your savings pods where you can earn 4% APY. 4%? That's crazy. That's 60 times the national average. Current is convenient, safe, and secure. And on a personal note, it really comes in handy when you're buying supplies to renovate your antique booth and you get stuck at one of those card-only self-checkouts. Thank you again to Current, the future of mobile banking. Hello. Sorry about that. Oh, no, it's okay. It's hard to get all your screw up everything. <laughs> Come by yourself? Yeah. Is Travel it pretty good? Huh? huh? Travel line. Oh yeah, gotta be able to put those seats down. You got kids? Two. You got rough kids with you. Hey puppy. Hi. Hi. All the rest of them's in the house, so. <laughs> so what was your name? Uh, Anthony. Anthony. Mm -hmm. Well, you want to take a look at it? Yeah, sure. That's a neat place. It's a whole lot nicer in the summer. When everything's green, the flowers are up. Yeah. Pools open. It's getting there. It's getting warm. You can't see it with the sun shining on it. Oh, that's cool though. I saw that it still lights up and everything. Oh yeah, yeah, it does. You see it come on? Yep, I do. That's really cool. And I think I put, if I remember right, I think I put new bulbs on it. Uh huh. And I think I put daylight, but you know, of course, places like this, they just leave them burn 24 hours a day. Sure. Yeah. You know, they don't wait till dark go out there and turn them on. Right. And I don't think it was on a photo cell. I don't. That'll do what I wanted to do. That's really neat. Very cool. Thank you. How big is, is the Jeffrey? Is it huge? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> Probably too big for me then. You don't see it right there? Yeah, sure. Wow. This is where I had that other sign. There's 
Oh wow, that. that's awesome though. See, his neck just goes back out of the wall. Yeah, if I had an actual store, I'd buy that from you. That's a big ball of lines. Yeah, or whatever they are. That's cool. Did you get that from the store? Or like Not after they closed the down? Store, uh, it's actually, they had a float, Toys R Us float. Right. And he was on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's really neat though. 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2. 40, 60, 80, 3. Yeah, that's uh, a 50. That'd right. be about it. Right, if you want to try and get a two wheeler. How heavy is it? Is it? Well, for me, because I'm. Yeah, I, can, yeah, I can carry nothing. I think I got it, actually. Oh. You want to see my ground real quick? Yeah, sure. Come on, sweetie. You can walk from here. Hey, how about some carnival stuff? Yeah, this is cool. I love the old bozo. That's cool. Those are all dogs across the top. Green Giant and 7-Up. Keebler Elf. This Pepsi over here, he, uh, she dances on the phone ring. Oh, really? I think they both dance, but... That's really neat. Yeah, 50 <laughs> And I would just like just sitting here all day long. Man, oh man. You ever heard of Mini Pearl? Uh, yes. Grand Ole Opry. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, this came out from this clown right here. Uh huh. Supposedly came out of her collection. Oh, really? I did not buy it for that, but that's, uh, I did buy it in Tennessee. Yeah. That's all it was. That's really cool. The top, yeah. the top of the head looks like a telephone pole. Yeah, it does. I tilted it over and looked at all the grain stuff and then. Huh. See how his thumbs are? Yeah. It helps the sign there. You know, either uh, right, right. it's got to yep. be this high. Sure. Yeah, hung on a chain. It's got to be this high to ride, or park opens that. Yeah. Or huh. ride opens that pin or whatever. Well, that's really cool. The old telephone booth, that's neat. All the clocks and signs, like that Burger Chef sign is awesome back there. I've had that for years. And everything works too. Have you ever uh, seen that McDonald's sign right there behind you? It's been a long time. Yeah, it's all porcelain. It's always a ton. Yeah. Wow, that's neat. I see a Ghostbusters Ecto-1 back there, too. A lot easier to carry that one, too. Right? Yeah, I think so. Are you just going to go ahead and carry yeah. it on out? I think so, yeah. I think it's probably easier this way, yeah. You going to go for it? Yeah. You're more than welcome to use though. So that was really cool and really unexpected. I thought I was just going to go pick up that sign. And then the guy ended up being really nice and uh, showed me around his garage. Um, you could definitely tell that he was a lifetime collector of some pretty amazing stuff. Kind of made it seem like he was ready to start offloading some stuff. Kind of started talking about price on a few things, uh, but we were way off and not a chance I was going to offer him 20% of what he was asking on stuff. That's kind of where I would have needed to be to be able to buy like some of those telephones and stuff. Anyway, just a really fun experience. Uh, very, very grateful when things like that happen, when uh, people feel comfortable sharing their uh, collections with you. But anyway, I got the sign and all the supplies dropped off at the booth. Uh, I'm running home real quick after getting some gas to go pick up the inventory that we have priced and packaged and ready. And then we're gonna head to the booth and we'll see how much we can get done today. All right, so I brought everything inside. So it's kind of uh, packed with just stuff all over the floor right now. Just kind of a quick overview of where we are to start. It's like all those Pokemon cards sold in like two days. Surprise, surprise. There's a bunch of stuff I'm gonna pull out of here, probably just take it to Goodwill because it's been here for like a year and a half and hasn't sold. I could put it on clearance, but it's really just taking up space and it's kind of want to start fresh. So like all these Christmas lights, probably some of these jugs, maybe then this guy here. It was all cheap at garage sale, so it doesn't really matter. I take this table home, get rid of things like this lamp, all the CB stuff. I just brought this recently and it's pretty nice. So I might make a little section for that sort of thing. But a lot of this other stuff, I'm just going to clear out of here. And uh, probably when we cut back, it's going to look a lot different. I'm not going to bore you with a big time lapse or anything. So uh, I'll see you soon. Oh, here, let me help you. Are you uh, going out? Yeah. Oh, here, let me get Thank it for you. you. Just pulling some old stuff out. Yeah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
so many hours later. All right, so that took a lot longer than I was even expecting, but this is the back of my truck. Uh, so you can see everything I took out of there. Uh, all this stuff is going straight to Goodwill. It's, it's stuff that's been here for, I don't know, a year, a year and a half. I could clearance it out, but it, it just doesn't really fit the theme. There's still like another stack of stuff inside that uh, I either need to come back for or clearance out or something, but it's not really in the way right now. So um, I'm pretty happy with how the booth is looking. So let's go inside and I'll show you where we're at so far. There's still work to be done, obviously. And more stuff to bring in, but I am liking it so far. All right, so it looks a lot different as you can tell. Move some shelves around, try to get some themes going. Probably my favorite part is the big Toys R Us light up sign. It's not lit up right now. I did plug it in. I think there's something wrong with that outlet maybe, but I'll figure that out later. And then what it's on top of, also not for sale, is this old toy trunk from the 80s probably. And Sarah and I went through and put a bunch of uh, modern Garbage Pail Kids stickers on it, just cause I thought that would look really cool. I don't know if you can really get the full effect, but that's kind of like the centerpiece of the of the booth right now. Once that's lit up, it'll look pretty amazing, I think. Toys and collectibles everywhere, some on the walls, kind of using the sign as a shelf itself. Put up some pegboard for some vintage toy grab bags. Sarah helped me figure out some uh, pretty, pretty cheap, neat packaging for some grab bags. It's like her book board, uh, and these are poly bags, and then she prints me off little labels. So like these are pretty much all just like vintage action figures. Stuff I just had in boxes, looking for something to do with. But there's definitely some cool stuff in here, like some uh, 80s Ghostbusters, a bunch of superhero stuff. Uh, Grayson's of course, there's some Mighty Max in there. There's some new adventures of T-Man. Down in these bags, these are all vintage Pokemon figures. Just like grab bags, just fun little things for people to come and look through. Easily replenishable, because there is no shortage of these uh, old loose action figures. Beetlejuice. Looking at her. And then down in these baskets are a bunch of old weird uh, vintage trading cards that I bought from my friend 1985 Inc. over in Columbus, Ohio. I have all those priced up now for people to rummage through, get a little taste of nostalgia. Bag of 90s like Star Wars action figures. Bunch more carded stuff and box stuff up on this shelf from the G.I. Joe to a, a partially complete Lion Bot. Some box games that I bought from my friend um, Hyperactive Picker recently. There's a Darth Vader case. This is kind of the pile of stuff that I either have to clear out or uh, clearance down or something. And I'm not exactly happy with these shelves. This is a bunch of the stuff that was left over. So it's staying for now, just so there's no uh, big open spots or anything. It looks okay though. Mostly fits the theme. And then of course we have our records and our comics that we brought recently. So quite a few have been bought, I think. And some random cool stuff up here. In the case, we have a uh, vintage Super Friends lunchbox, an old Batman and Robin clock, another game I bought from Hyperactive Picker, uh, Donkey Kong, or the SNES. But yeah, here's how we're looking so far. Just gonna give you a little roundabout picture, a little panoramic view, if you will. Some train stuff down there. And of course, it'll be ever changing. But on day one, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Have a good day. That is all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching And they all look at me I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap